Hello and welcome to Church Tech Solutions, where we equip the local church to spread the gospel through the use of technology. In today's video, I will be suggesting three tips, well, four <laughs> tips on how to build an effective production team at your church. Now, the first tip or really mindsets, actually, we're going to use in this video, we're going to call them mindsets, is to know that ministry is first about people. It's not about the gear you use. It's not about your budget for the year. It's not about your production quality or how good your online sound is. If the people are not actually happy and if you're not actually helping them to work towards purpose. So first things first is make sure you establish a good relationship with the people that you serve with. Okay, it's also important to note that they're not serving for you, they're serving with you. You know, I heard the term that a good shepherd smells like the sheep. So you want to ensure that everybody's doing okay first and foremost. That's the first thing. If camera fails, it's fine. You doing okay. I joke around with my team a lot and I say like, they're like, oh my gosh, live streams. I'm like, it's fine. Like, you doing okay though? Like, it's okay. We can get it back. It's not the end of the world. Okay. So first things first showing that your team is okay. We're checking in on them because ministry is first about people. Now with every tip in this video, you're going to see a theme. It's people-centered. So the second mindset is to have a good onboarding system. Now, I am a big believer in utilizing systems, especially systems that are scalable. Okay. My goal is to grow a team to like maybe a thousand people, okay? And we're gonna use systems to make sure that everybody knows exactly what to do, they know where they need to be, and they're not lost at any point in time. So this mindset involves establishing a good onboarding system. For me, personally, what worked was creating a, an onboarding document. Now, you could also include that we maybe um, having a quick video chat with them through the week, but basically the document will entail everything that is needed for a role that that may be interested in or anything they need to know about the team. So for example, in the onboarding document before our front of our sound engineer, we have YouTube links that contain playlists on how to use the mixer that we use at our church. You can also include some recommendations or some tips, right? There's, it could also include like times for rehearsals, times for to come in for sound check as well. Basically anything that you need to know. Also included the onboarding document could also be like a link to the group chat that you use or any scheduling software that you also use. Essentially, you want to make sure that everything that they need to properly integrate into the team is in that onboarding document. The key to making sure that people are well grounded into a team is to make sure that they are onboarded well and quick. The next mindset is training. Now, this is so, so, so important. Now, I've learned from my leaders at church as well that anything I learn, I also have to share it as well. So if you come across a cool YouTube video, you know, you saw a, maybe another YouTube channel that is also into tech or production, or even this video, you can share, you can share it with them. Anything you learn as a leader, you also want to make sure that everybody on your team learns as well. This would also include scheduling days where you can come in and maybe, you know, just say, okay, we need to work on this better. We need to do this better. Again, we're all learning together, ensuring that there are regular trainings. By regular, I don't necessarily mean frequent. <laughs> it just means that it just needs to maybe it's once every six months or once every year. Whatever pace your team is willing to, to work at, just make sure that it is as frequent as possible and there's also a lot of room for feedback. Which then leads to the next mindset, which is feedback. Now, everything we do as a production team is creative. We need to be open to a lot of feedback. Now, that inc also includes feedback from the churches. Now, obviously, we're all going to have the line we're going to draw. We're all going to say, the mix is fine, it's not too loud. Or no, we like that sort of camera. Or no, we like how loud the guitar is. But that's fine. But remember, we're there to serve the church, not necessarily ourselves on what we think uh, our production team should be like. It could also be an invitation for negotiation. And you could say that, okay, if we're, if we're gonna do this, we're also going to have to pull back on this or invest in this more as well. Essentially, we want to make sure that we are creating a good atmosphere for feedback. Also, even within the team, we wanna ensure that everybody has a voice. If anyone has a good idea, no idea is bad. It's creativity. It cannot be bad, right? Literally. So we wanna make sure that everybody's ideas is being heard and even if 
we're not keen on implementing something right away, we can explain and say, okay, we can maybe work in this at this time and date. We want to make sure that everybody has a voice. Now with this four mindsets, first ministry is about people. We want to make sure that we have a good onboarding system. We want to make sure that we have regular trade-ins. And we also want to make sure that we have a good atmosphere where people can give feedback. If you liked and enjoyed this video, make sure you share it with anyone that is maybe interested in production or church production or even your senior leaders at church as well. Uh, be sure to leave a comment on other tips or mindsets that I may be left out. And also make sure you subscribe to get more videos. Thank you for watching.